Hello? Hi, is this, uh, Cringe Knock? Number one Superman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Is this Tony? Yo, crazies! What's going on? It's me, Crazy Knock, with a big forehead, a big juicer. I am red. It's very hot today. Today, we're going to try to go through every experience rift with no gems to see how it is. What we're gathering in the information, is it enjoyable? Did they have it improve at all from season two? So yeah, they increased the level of the gems. Obviously, you can see started. that I don't have the right gems active. But they did increase the level of the gems. I'm not, I don't remember the purpose of that. I really couldn't tell. But this is a new one. I think it's a lot of fun. Imagine if they added a dodgeball mode like this. So like there's a line in the middle or maybe even a ping pong, your classic ping pong match. Put that as an event mini game. Like they got to add more to it, you know, like, like that. I, like what am I playing a daily mobile app mission? You know? kind of trash or what if you had like a little mini battle royale and it's who could score more dodgeball so instead of the lasers non-stop you actually shoot like a ball and then if you parry the ball you can catch the ball and that, that makes them go out as well but you only get like one parry you know just like immediately my brain go uh, is insane my brain is so creative so juicy full of the thoughts maybe it's just me maybe i'm the one but i really don't care about reading all that like every single one i do is not enough like story there's nothing there's no meat to warrant me reading each individual i bet you 90 percent of players skip that once again i do not like the different directions if you go a different direction they should not end up in the same place they should go off into the other either it forces you to go back because you to get enough of the event reward or just makes you not want to do it because you're like oh i want to go to the end and not do those it should be an optional thing. That is true. There used to be a cutscene before you started. Yeah, this is insane, unexperienced. No gems. It's, it's hard to tell way. who's the leader sometimes. I wish there was like a little different highlight or something. Maybe that's just me being bad. I'm not used to it. Oh my God, dude. How is that not hitting? Dead. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna die because I killed myself on accident. 69 damage though, but like I said, I'm I'm a huge fan of the uh, 1v1s. I want it to feel like a almost a mini boss fight every round. Do you don't you remember the freaking Nintendo 64 or maybe it was even GameCube Smash Melee? I don't remember where you had the bot the hand boss at the end. Like dude, that is so iconic. None of these bosses feel like worth remembering, you know. Let's go! Yeah, my main Powerpuff Girls. Golf. These ones are actually fun though. Yeah, that, dude, imagine there was a... Uh, you could do this with your friends. <sighs> what? How am I so bad? I literally hit the thing. <sighs> Care to explain? On the win. And they're catering to the casuals so much they want to they want to give you a participation victory trophy. It's so trash. This is the only fun one. Like if you're going for the casuals and just have no rewards and like no reason really to play, you know, just for fun, that it that is what you need. The fun like the golf one, the racing one, stuff like that. But I want the 1v1 difficulty ones with rewards. Just give me rewards. Bring another player with you to battle. I have no friends. What is that? What are these holes? Uh, oh my gosh! Minute left, what? One minute? Where the fuck do I go? Oh! Nice hitbox! They can't even get the hitboxes around this! Oh my god. I'm actually not gonna win. Dude, it was... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That counts. Yes! Holy shit, that was close. You're so worst player I've ever seen. You're the, the worst grammar I've ever seen. Okay, how about that? Wait a minute, do I just have armor? I have Blossom near me. Right. I saved Blossom's life and now she owes me for life. Dude, I'm telling you, this shit would be so much fun if there was a map dedicated to each character. Battle Royale mode, dude, I'm 
That would be cool. You could do a battle royale mode. Basically, everyone has their own instance, but it has like the top left. And you all, and it basically everyone gets the same map. Everyone gets the same everything. And it, whoever finishes it first, if there's 20 people, then only the top 10 will go to the next round and then top five and then like one winner or something like that. Uh, honestly, this bamboo just makes it annoying. It's not fun. Dude, what the fuck are these hitboxes? Got him. Oh my god. Honestly, the course should be harder like that. Let's go. Like, this would be a lot of fun, because you know, it would be actually difficult to get first place if it was matchmaking. Another one, two targets. I do like, as I said, these modes are the ones that are fun where you can take a break and just go and do it. The other ones are, it just doesn't feel worth my time because it feels like I'm playing like a normal match without any benefit, really. But this one, at least you get the stars, but it's different and kind of fun. Dude, I just fell right through. Nice. That one actually was more difficult and fun, at least. But I wanted the obstacles on the map to be more more designed based on your character. I mean, I've said it before, but like there should be an option where I have to fly across somewhere where like nowhere else you could get it. Like, bro, this was an arcade game before I was even born and they didn't innovate it at all. Like it's not anything special. Congratulations on the win. <laughs> like it's even worse. There's nothing innovated on it. To me, it's more just saying like, hey, this is what could be, you know, this is what is it. We're, we're kind of giving the idea of like all this new stuff. So the bonus node, a bonus node. Oh, I went the wrong way, huh? I noticed this one has a lot more like unserious ones. Boom, we got it. What is he doing? Yep, they need to work on their AI. Come on, we're already like two years in development of the AI. Imagine if you had real AI playing this game. How insane of a challenge it could be. Oh, so the Powerpuff Girl is the companion. I just noticed that. Uh, that is cool. I like the companion idea. I wish the companion counted as a bring someone along, though. <laughs> oh. Wow, the Rowdy Rift boys suck. I just clipped them in the last boss. Whoa, okay, so the last one, you don't actually have to fight. This one, might, this one might be tough, or at least in insanity mode, I will be. Easy. All right, this one's a little better. Ultimately, I hope this is a stepping point to the, like they're creating more assets and they're creating more development, like a whole system to where this will be a lot easier to create modes like this in the future, you know? Wait, so I don't even need to shoot these things? Like I have no downside of just letting them pass me? Four damage. I think it might be impossible to lose this. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm shitting on him. <laughs> I didn't realize that it didn't matter that the things would would go past you and nothing would happen. I thought you had to like protect that area. How do you get rung out? I don't know. That's really weird. All right, crazies, that's it. As I've said, as a player, I don't want to go back and do this. I might have to go do these just because the event like the Jason and Smith one and all the other ones, like these three, three, four, five, six, seven, that I just like, oh, wow, I don't want to play these because it's not in the direction that I want to go. Right, as of it stands now, it's too easy. There's no reward for doing difficult content. These are the only fun ones. The target, the little map thing, the golf, the Mario Kart, bring it to the matchmaking. I wish they made it seem like they were, were going to bring that to the matchmaking somehow, which would be nice. I do like the 1v1s. I like the 1v1s. Uh, very rare 2v2s. There's a lot more fun bonus ones. I wouldn't get on the game and be hyped to play this. I'm trying to write down ideas in full detail and maybe make a video on like a deep dive on how you really would improve rifts. Right now, how they currently stand, it's just like a mind numbing thing to do, you know, just a thing to do. It was doing experience and not even easy. So it's just like the same thing on easy mode. It's just a boring thing like oh i have to do it again there's no benefit of doing it on another difficulty except gem xp so that way you are forced to unlock the crushing insanity and looting looting modes in the future that's like the only reason to do it and the only incentive right now is these events 
And since I didn't have a friend and I didn't do all the objectives, it's going to be harder to get this last one. And the only benefit of this to doing the rift is battle pass XP. That's the biggest one. And the other one is getting the companion XP. It's just more gem XP. Play the game to unlock stars, to get gem XP, unlock gem XP as you complete them. So, so that way you can complete the event and unlock more gem XP. What is that? What is that system? It makes no sense. It's not fun. Like, why don't these developers, maybe they know it's not fun and they don't want to come out and say it, but they're, they're just behind and they just know it's not complete. They probably know it's not complete, but ask yourself, as a playtester, my number one question is, hey, I'm going to play this Rift individually. Is this Rift mode fun? Not at like, oh, maybe, like, yes or no. Is it fun? Would you classify it as fun? And for the most part, no. I would be like, no, I don't get rewards. No, the easier modes feel boring to me. I just thought of an idea. So that way you cater the casuals. You give the same gem XP for someone who does easy experience, crushing hard or loony or whatever. You give them the same thing. The bonus is, is you get a cool reward. If I choose to do it on loony mode, I get a reward for it. As I'm leveling up this as the event, which I think the event for the rift is a good idea, I should be getting all the rift if I want to choose to do easy, experienced, crushing, insanity, loony. All these modes should be open on day one of the rift. Now, you might be wondering, oh, why wouldn't I just do it on easy mode and get the thing so I don't even have to worry about loony? Yes, that is a good point to counteract that you get a nice little picture on the edge of this each difficulty mode that says hey you get this freaking badass skin hey you get this badass banner hey you get this freaking badass whatever badge etc for loony mode you get a freaking a uh, call from tony signed t-shirt from tony for actual players veteran players who play this game and are good at the game they could probably do loony mode and for easier experience these are like brand new people maybe your eight-year-old kid is playing this game you obviously don't want to do loony because that's not going to be fun. But you still get all these rewards with the XP. So that way you still feel like you're all progressing. But you don't get the cosmetic rewards that don't matter. Because these this rewards matters more than the cosmetics. I'm insane. I'm insane. Someone hire me at PFG. Tony, please, if you give me a call, I will accept an apology. But I will allow you to hire me for an increased salary, obviously. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this, uh, Cringe Knock? Number one Superman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Is this Tony? I feel like your voice has changed a little bit. Yeah, it's me, Tony. Uh, I was just watching your stream, and you had an insanely valid and creative and, like, honestly, way better than anything we've got going on in here. Way better ideas. Uh, I'd like to hire you. Uh, yeah, I was just talking about the salary. It would have to be increased for any sort of chance. So what are we talking here? What are we talking about here? Well, I think we could do a little bit. I think we could uh, make an arrangement, but I I was thinking maybe like a thousand gleamium a week. A thousand gleamium a week? Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am for a thousand gleamium a week? Make it 5,000 gleamium a week and you get a deal. You drive a hard bargain crazy, but I like that style. I like that style from you. You know what? We'll be in contact. Goodbye. All right. Sounds good, Tony. Thank you. Good. To he hung up. Are you serious? <laughs> this is torture. There's a horror gem. This is the only reason that uh, the gem, the other gems are useful. And I do like this, but it should always be in a different tab to where you get a cool reward, like a reward that's unique. It has to feel different. So that way it feels like I level up my red gems for a reason. Crazies, thank you all so much for watching the experience. This is always to see the progress of the rifts and to see how they are improving and what they can improve. I'll need your guys' help for that. I will have a specific video going over rifts in detail on what they can change, but right now it's still not in, it's like 20%, it's like 25% of the way there. Look forward to the loony mode without gems in the future. Let me know down below what you guys think should change. Like if you could choose one thing to change in the rifts, what would it be? With that I say good night and goodbye. Goodbye crazies, goodbye crazies, I love you crazies.